So this is the first road to the show that I'm actually doing on stream. So for that reason, or just because of that, you guys aren't all going to know like what happened, you know, previous to this. We went through the combine, went through three weeks of playing. Um, the videos for that will be out pretty soon, so um, you guys will have a chance to see that. But if you're seeing this in an actual video now, those should be out already. So you can always check what happened there. But yeah, this week we're actually going to be facing the Fightin' Phils. They are the team that we ended up facing in our first series, and that was our first win of the season. We actually threw pretty well in that game. We ended up going eight innings uh, with no runs, but unfortunately the next two games we ended up kind of getting shelled. In terms of our ERA though, we're actually still looking pretty good. We're sitting at a 2.76, our whip is still under one. Um, so it's not like we're pitching horrible, it's just that we have been getting shelled a little bit in the last couple games. But thankfully we're gonna be facing New Hampshire. Sorry, not the, uh, not the fighting fills. We're going to be facing New Hampshire, and hopefully we can kind of have a bounce back performance here. Because again, they're the team that we ended up facing in the first game, and we ended up shutting them down pretty well. So hopefully they don't remember our stuff, and hopefully uh, we'll, have a, we'll have a better uh, better chance. Let's see, we won on Saturday, but lost on Sunday. Uh, we're going to go back to the bullpen, and now I guess we're going to work on the velocity of our primary pitch. But there we go. We're going to up our uh, two-seam velocity and our Ks per nine. That's going to be helpful. But it looks like we do get game one against New Hampshire here. Um, now their lineup looks like their four and five hitters are hot right now, but their one, three, and seven are cold. Hopefully we don't uh, start a hot streak for them. Who knows, though? Uh, this was a pretty decent lineup when we faced it. We just had a really, really good game against them. Um, they still have looks like pretty much the same players as uh, in the game last time we faced them. And hopefully our players will uh, actually pick it up on offense this time. Yeah, two sub-500 teams going against each other. I'm sure everyone's excited for this game. But you get a chance to see someone who uh, is looking to make a bounce back here. Let's go. We have 14 strikeouts already this season. Let's see if we can make that 20 by the end of this game. So let's go. Let's start with that circle change. Why not? Oh, they're starting with a bunt. And that's going to be foul, thankfully. Because I cannot field my position uh, well at all. So that would have not turned out extremely well for us. Good pitch right there. And that's going to go for another strike. Uh, not necessarily the spot that we wanted it. It's all right, though. We're way ahead in the count. Let's make sure that we don't give him anything to hit. That's going to be the important thing. But let's go. Let's go with that slurve. Ooh. Chases it away, but fouls it off again. Okay, I think we're we're only going to be able to face one batter today based on how long this game's been, or how this at-bat's been going. Thankfully, we get into... Wow, he ends up landing it in left field. Holy f... How did he hit the ball? So let's go. We need to we need to go with the fastball here. We can't have him steal second. Let's go for a split. If we, can, if we can produce a ground ball right here, we can get a nice little double play. Finally, someone's swinging through something. Let's finish him with the changeup right here. Right off the edge. That, that, that was a close call, but in all honesty, based on where we wanted to throw that pitch, yeah, that shouldn't have been a strike. Let's finish him fastball up high. There it is. Well, never mind. He still makes contact. And he ends up flying out. And the guy on first is going to end up staying there. So thankfully, we're sitting there with one out. And now we're one ground ball away from getting out of this jam. And that's not a good way to start it. <laughs> All right, fastball's down, though. I think we'll get him to ground out. He's been cold, so, again, we just need to make sure we don't give him anything too good to hit. We have to go to the changeup. That's what's been working better now. Again, I'd rather walk him than give him something good to hit. But there we go. Thankfully, we get that one over for a strike, finally. And uh, now we have a 3-1. Again, just double play right here would be good. You're going to call that a ball, too. Wow. All right, that's a little... That's... All right, we'll just have to know that we're not going to be able to get the bottom of the zone. And now, unfortunately, we're facing one of their hotter hitters right now. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're having a bit of an issue here. That's all right. We can get out of this still. <sighs> Surprised at that. Let's hit him with the split. Get him to chase that a little bit and fouls it off. We're going to have to go with the circle change now. Again, we can't give him something good. And thankfully, follows that one off, too. So it looks like if we keep it off the edge of the plate, I think we're going to be fine. So let's go with the splitter outside. It looks like he's willing to chase out there. 
Let's go. Swings through that one. And that's that's a great strikeout right there. And now we have a two outs. We don't have to worry about a double play. Let's just get out of this without any runs. Let's go. We just need to get out of this jam here. Got another hot hitter up. As we leave a meatball right down the middle, but he doesn't swing at it. And I really appreciate that. So let's go for the split. Let's see if we can... Nope. We bury it. He ends up blocking it. We have a good catcher back there, thankfully. I wish he would have buried it like that on the first hitter, but that's okay. We'll still take what we can get. There we go. And now we push the count to one and two. Let's see if we can get out of this with the strikeout now. We want to go up and in with the fastball. Again, a pitch that I think he may swing through. There it is. Let's go. That's the kind of pitch we're looking for. That up and in on the righty. He wasn't expecting it. And we end up striking him out. And we get out of a big jam right there. With two strikeouts that inning as well. We shouldn't have allowed that first base runner. I think we should have found a way to get him out. But nope. We get out of it. Look at that. Just absolutely elated face. Going back to work in the second inning. Fresh palate. Let's go. Oh, we lead that one off the edge of the plate. Not looking good. Not looking good on the edges, to be honest with you. We're not getting the inside or the outside. I spoke too soon. Spoke way too soon. We got the inside corner on that one. Uh, let's keep it down and away a little bit on this fastball here. Nice. And we hit the zone yet again. Dude, now we're starting to paint the corners there. And now we're starting to get some calls. I'm loving it. Let's, let's finish him off with the splitter down and out here. He's seen a ball down and out before, but he was afraid to swing at it. And he lays off that one, too. So let's go with the circle change down and in. Let's see if we can twist him up here. He's seen two away in a row. There it is. Oh, he fouls it off. A little bit of a cup check for the catcher there. But let's go. Fastball up and in. Let's finish him off right here. Swing through it. Not quite. We leave that up a little bit. But that's going to be catchable. Does he get over there? And he does. Nice catch. And we don't have to waste another pitch on him. The second base. You gotta love the frame rate of the Xbox One, right? We got one out now. We're looking pretty good so far. Not bad. Nice, and we're gonna get just another pop fly right there. Only wasting one more pitch. You know, for all the pitches we threw in that first inning, I think we're gonna make up for it here on the second one. We're already into the 30s, which does not bode well for us going deep into this game, but what a pitch right there. We end up catching the corner again. Let's go fastball in. He's not gonna know what hit him. All right, I thought we hit our spot, but apparently not. So let's go with the circle change down and away. He ends up swinging through that. So you know what we're going to hit him with right here? We haven't thrown this in a little bit. We're going with the slurve down and away. Let's make him swing through it, and let's make him look silly. Well, that didn't make him look silly, but still a ground out to the third baseman. And we get out of that inning unscathed. Not even a hit. Let's get into this third inning. We need to maintain the 0-0 zero zero tie because our offense is not scoring at all. And there we go. Good play by the third baseman, but unfortunately has to eat it there. And unfortunately, we get a base runner on first. First pitch hit, too. Ground ball, double play, and we just get back into a good spot. We get back to the top of the order, too. This guy was, was, was hard to actually swing and miss, so... I mean, he ended up getting a base hit on 0-2, so we need to be a little more careful here. Circle change a little low and outside. Let's go split her down and in. I feel like if we get some downward break action, maybe... Well, never mind. Oh! Oh my goodness, what a throw by our catcher! Yeah, he tested him a little too much. But again, thankfully, he actually blocked that ball pretty well. Kept it in front of him. Just picked it up and just gunned it down to second. Yeah, nope. And our defense actually making us look better than we actually are. Because now all we have to do is just get this guy out, and now we're out of the inning. So let's go 2-1. and one. Let's just get a strike here. A little too far over the plate. But let's go. We're back in charge. He's not seeing the fastball well. Let's go a little up and in with the fastball here. Strike three, baby. Swings through the fastball. And there we go. It's a good thing I'm not actually playing baseball right now. Well, let's go. Two outs now. We are in charge still. Hit the bottom of the zone for the strike on that one. We're starting to get... Now that we're actually, like, showing that we have better command, you can tell that the umpire is willing to give us better pitches. Like, that one probably should not have been called a strike, but thankfully it was. 
And now all we have to do is kind of bury him down and in with the change. And he'll swing through it. And we'll be out of this inning. Or he'll foul that off and almost take us yard. Slur of time. We have not gotten enough strikeouts with this pitch. So time to change that right here. Wow, I can't believe he laid off that one. But damn good eye on that one. Damn good eye. So let's finish him off and jam him in with a fastball. That's what I always love to do. No! Get him at second, though! Oh, bro, you should not have gone on that one. Wow, one that should have been caught, but ended up being fumbled a bit by the right fielder. But at least he recovers well, gets it, throws it into second, and ends up getting him out. And now we are still 0-0. Zero to zero. Still only one hit. Let's see what we can do here. Let's keep holding them. We're doing pretty well. We've recovered since the first inning. I say that as they hit a uh, little gap shot for a single there. And uh, now we have to deal with a guy on first. That was a guy who was cold too. Now we're facing a guy who's hot. Check. He didn't go on that one. All right. Again, we really want to keep it like at the knees or lower. We don't want to give him anything good to hit like that. Or else he's going to end up rocking it. But thankfully our center fielder is there to catch it. And now we have one out. We're giving him way too many good things to hit in all honesty. We need to up our uh, up our control because again throwing meatballs like that to guys that are that are not just cleanup hitters but actually hot as it is, then uh, yeah we're gonna get punished eventually. Thankfully we're not on legend mode, right? Thankfully it's just Hall of Fame. One and two count now, so either a strikeout or a uh, or a double play ball would be really nice. There it is. Boom. Catch him looking a little up and in. I'll be honest, that, that was a little generous, but we'll take all the generosity we can get. Look at this. Great angle and dang. Yeah, froze him up right there. He wasn't gonna he wasn't gonna chase that. Okay, starting off 2-0 right here is not great. That's alright, we just need to get him over with a strike. There we go. We end up getting him to swing at that too, and it's nice to know that he's gonna chase things in the bottom of the zone. So uh, let's see if we can uh, produce a swinging strike here on the changeup. We don't, but we get a called one. And now we're back in the zone here to be able to finish him off with the splitter. And goodbye. Never mind. He ends up taking that. And ends up getting a base hit to right field. It's okay, though. We're, we're down at the bottom of the order. We don't have too much to worry about. Again, just, just need to get some outs here. Being a little sloppy. But there we go, a little ground ball to the shortstop. And, uh, oh, he ends up picking up the out at second, thankfully. And, yep, and there we go, three outs. End up stranding two base runners there, and thankfully, even though we are getting ourselves into jams, we're still getting ourselves out of it, too. And our offense only putting up another hit. They are not looking good this season. But let's go. We do get a first pitch strike on that one. And as I said before... First pitch strike is just so important. Like, again, your odds in the at-bat. Can we check down there? No appeal? That's fine. But your odds when you end up getting that first strike uh, just increase, maybe not exponentially, but quite a bit, though, as we ground out, or as we have him ground out, pardon me, to third base. Let's go. We're looking pretty good. We're only sitting 68 pitches through four and a third. Um, it's a little high for what I want to be, but... In all honesty, we've really kind of picked it up here. And for giving up five hits, um, we're actually kind of keeping our pitch uh, pitch count low. Wow, I'm surprised we actually got the call on that one. Let's finish him off with a slurve here. Let's get him to chase. And he does. Let's go. One of our first strikeouts on the slurve. And we pick up our second out of the inning. Just absolutely flawless mechanics right there. It's like they just it's like they've just been spying on me when I pitch. Alright, now we're back in the driver's seats. Two outs. No one on. Don't end up getting that strike call, but you know what? We've we've gotten some pretty generous calls, so we will take that. As we pick up that one for a strike. We're looking pretty good here. Let's hit him with the slurve. Let's even get him to swing through it. Oh looking real good. Now, no way, man. He's seen way too many off-speed now. Let's go and jam him up and in. Let's have him swim through a, swing through a fastball. Oh, 
He's a little late on it, but he ends up flying it out to the right fielder. And we get out of the fifth inning as well. Still a scoreless game. Uh, hopefully our offense can actually wake up a little bit right here. Uh, especially since it's got to be at least their second or third time through the order here. And now that means we have to hold this lead. Base is empty. What are we going to do? Without allowing a run or more than one walk. One without allowing a run or more than one hit. Let's go with that. I don't think we're going to be able to give, or I don't think we're going to end up giving up more than one hit this inning. I like the way we've been playing. Uh, I know we're kind of facing the heart of their order here, but we've been doing pretty well against them. Let's keep it up right here. We don't end up getting that strike call, but we're going to be all right. Let's go. Let's let's establish that fastball. There we go. Ground ball right to the shortstop, and ends up picking up the first out. Let's go. Looking good. Pitching pretty well. Let's keep this up. Again, if we keep this down in the zone, I don't think they're really gonna they're really gonna hurt us much. Most of the times that they've gotten the hits, it was a pitch that we ended up leaving hanging or just kind of left it up in the zone a little bit. And so as long as we limit those mistakes, we're gonna be good to go. And look at that, as soon as we get into this inning, we're almost out of it too. Don't end up picking up that call, but again, in all honesty, we don't deserve that call. The times that we've gotten it, it's been way too generous. Uh, and unfortunately, we end up giving up a base hit, but that's okay. It was that we don't give up more than one base hit. Facing the five hitter, we, we've actually gotten him out pretty well this game so far. Um, and now we got a guy in scoring position. That was a really bad pitch by us. I'm glad I didn't pick the wild pitch one. Uh, it's okay. It's all right. We just need to get one more out here. There we go. And there we go. Grounds out to the first baseman. And we get out of that. And thankfully, we hold our lead here. And not just that, we end up uh, beating that challenge right there. And we get that little boost. Uh, yep, got to check us for the sticky stuff. That's fine. No sticky stuff this inning. Wait till you see what we do next inning, though. You know, we've given up six hits. But thankfully, we've kind of scattered them. And uh, really haven't gotten punished for it. So all we have to do is keep this up. Yeah, our pitcher's getting tired. We know. We're already at 83 pitches. 83 pitches. Not ideal, but we're still looking pretty sharp in all honesty. Let's go with the fastball up and in. Let's get him to swing through this. Let's jam him. He doesn't chase. I don't blame you. So let's finish him with a splitter down and away. He's going to swing through this and strike out number one of the inning. Boom. I lied about him swinging at it, but hey, we catch the corner. Doesn't break too much. And there we go, out number one of the seven. And we're facing the bottom of the order too, so I'm not incredibly worried. But again, we are getting a little tired, so we need to be a little more careful about where we're spotting our pitches. Because again, the more tired we get, the more we leave the ball up in the zone. Thankfully, we didn't get punished for it. And that's a fly out to the right fielder. And it looks like we may be able to get out of this inning before we hit 90 pitches. Honestly, that would be ideal. Coach might actually trot us out for the eighth inning in that instance, but if we go over 90 pitches, I think we're going to be out after the seven. And yeah, I think he's going to have to go to the bullpen after this at bat, uh, only because we just hit 90, and we are not looking good as we push it to a 3-0. and Got to go back to the splitter. There we go. At least we get one over for a strike, and now he's going to be uh, a little more pressured to swing at it. Go for a circle change over the middle. Pick up a strike, and now we have it a full count. Two outs. Let's finish him with the splitter here, and let's see if we can get out of this inning. Looking good. Nice. Ground ball to the third baseman. Makes the play. Gets him out at first, and we are looking really, really good. I don't know if we're going to go out there for the eighth inning. I think it would be a mistake to send us out there, but if that is the end of our day, seven innings, no runs, and uh, looked pretty good. We're able to get out of some pretty good, uh, some pretty tough jams. We're going to walk out with a win as long as Nathan Lavender. Don't think that's, I, it just doesn't sound like a real guy, but as long as Nathan Lavender here can actually kind of hold them down this inning and our closer can come in and finish it off, I think we're going to look good and I think we're going to pick up our second win of the season. We do! And we hold the shutout too. Yeah, Cam Robinson comes in to kind of close it out in that last inning and thankfully we're leading the series now after taking the opener one to nothing, uh, or we took the opener three to nothing, and we're leading the series one nil. 
So there we go. That's the kind of bounce back performance we needed. Seven innings, six hits, six strikeouts, only one walk, and again, no earned runs, and we end up picking up our second victory of the season. And our ERA goes down to a 1.93, and we hit our goal and hit those 20Ks. Looks like we're going to be pitching game six of this series too then. So I feel safe. I know we're not going to pitch in the next few games, so let's sim through these. Um, we end up picking up the win in game two, loss in game three, and a win in game four. Looks like they actually pushed our start, in all honesty. Um, we're not going to take that chance, though, and sim through it. Uh, but it looks like right now we're going to be pitching game one of the Hartford series. Uh, let's get into this next game. It looks like we're starting game one against Hartford here. We're going up against Chris McMahon, who is 1-1 one one this season. 21 innings, 26 strikeouts. A 3 8 6 ERA, so hopefully our team can end up... Uh, I don't want to say shelling him, but hopefully we can actually string together a couple hits and uh, score some runs. Now, their team actually looks pretty good. I mean, you look at their uh, two, three, and four hitters. They're all 67 overall. Their leadoff hitters is 63 overall. I know that's just overalls. You know, you kind of have to look and see how they're actually doing, but their two and four hitters are uh, on a bit of a hot streak right now, too. So hopefully we can actually have another good game and we can follow up that last game uh, with another good one here against the Yard Goats. So let's get into our start. We're at home. Let's end up going out there and setting the tone on defense. So let's uh, make quick work of this uh, this lineup in this first inning. Start pretty well with a ball low. My bad. I was expecting that to be a strike, but that is not the case. That's all right. Um, and unfortunately, that's going to end up dropping but, wow, he ended up getting a double out of that duck snorter. Oh, boy. That's uh, not the way we wanted to lead off here. So we're in a bit of a jam to start off this game. We're up to the second hitter, and we've already got a guy in scoring position. That's that's not looking good. So let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can kind of compose ourselves here. Not getting that call low. Let's just try to be flawless from here on out. Dude, we are not getting that low pitch, unfortunately. Let's see if we can go up and in a little bit. There we go. Pops it to the catcher. I think that's going to be out number one. Let's go. Again, that, that leadoff hitter is not the way we wanted to start, but as long as we can recover, we're going to look good. We get the low strike on that one, thankfully. And let's see if we can keep kind of uh, painting it low down there. Threw it a little out on that one, unfortunately. Let's keep going down in a way, I think. And then we'll jam him with a fastball. Oh, what a play! Can't double him up on second, but thankfully our shortstop ends up picking up the line out and uh, ends up holding the guy at second too. All right, that was a that was a little too uh, yeah, a little too close for us. Good strike right there. Thankfully, we do not get punished for that one. That was way too good of a pitch. First pitch to the four hitter. Yeah, split up. That's not looking good. Let's go for the change down and in. Change his eye level. We're not going to check on that one? Okay. Okay. That's all right. Keep it down in the zone. I think as long as we keep it down, again, we're going to be fine. He's seen a lot of off speed. Let's go up and in with the fastball. Let's get him to... Let's kind of jam him up. There we go. But he makes contact. Split down in a way. We should get him here. Wow. And unfortunately, that ends up finding uh, finding some dirt. And yeah, he ends up getting an RBI single on that one. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, we just left it over the plate too much. We wanted that down and out a little bit more, but unfortunately left that hanging. And yeah, again, you can't do that to a four hitter who's been hot. That's all right. No one in scoring position now. Let's just try to get out of the inning as we're not going to get the low strike again. We need to establish, th establish that down there, though. There we go. Ground out to the third baseman. Why did he go to second on that one? And that's going to be an error right there. What should have been an inning-ending an inning ending ground out to the third baseman is a bad throw to second. And now they have it first and second with two outs. Not getting any help from our field, unfortunately. But we do get help from the umpire there. 
as we end up picking up the uh, first pitch strike on the outside corner. Try to go right back to it. No call. Kind of bury that down low. Let me go back to the circle change. No. All right, hold on now. Regroup a little bit. I think we're just kind of going a little fast here. Let's get the fastball down in the zone again. Let's go for the split. I actually have more faith in that than the fastball. And that should not have been the case because he ends up unloading on that for a three-run shot. And uh, that is not the way we want to start the game. We just don't seem to be very good at home, unfortunately. As Hartford ends up taking a 4-0 lead in the top of the first now. We left that just hanging. 3-1, we didn't want to give up the walk. Uh, and this is not looking like we should have ended up playing this game. Let's just try to get out of this here. That is not looking good. I don't know how long our coach is going to actually allow us to stay in here. I would take us out pretty soon. But thankfully, we end up getting out of the inning. Um, thankfully, that's not really going to affect our ERA too much because we should have been out of that inning before the uh, before the home run got hit. But still, that's four runs up on the board. Let's go. We need to establish the zone early and often. We end up getting the strike call on that one. And we just need to be flawless for the, less, for the rest of this game. Pardon me. Fastball up and in. And let's finish him off. Three straight pitches. Three straight strikes. And he is down. Let's go. First strike out of the game. Again, I said we need to be flawless from here on out. And that's a good way to start it. Don't end up picking up that pitch, though. That's all right. You know what? That was, the, that was a little outside. I'll give him that. As he fouls that one off for a 1-1 count. But we're looking fine, though. We're looking fine. As he lines it to center. But he ends up making the catch. And there we go. Two quick outs right there. And after pitching, what, like 30 pitches? After throwing 30 pitches in that first inning, I'm glad that we're actually having a much quicker inning on this one. So let's go down in the zone. I thought that was going to be a ground out, but thankfully he ends up following that off. Let's keep it down again. Oh, swings through that. He was looking for a fastball and just didn't know what to swing at. So let's give him a fastball up and in here. But he doesn't chase. That's fair. So let's get him to chase on the change down and away again. We got him on that on the last one. But man, he ends up hitting that one and we did not... Uh, we did not time that one well. So let's finish him off with a fastball up. And let's not give him anything good to hit. Can't get him to chase on that one. But that's okay. He's seen something up. Now it's time to give this, give him the splitter down and away. Dunzo. That's going to be a ground out. I'm a little afraid of him going to second on that one again. But thankfully we end up getting the out on that one. And we retire them in, in pretty quick order. But our offense is picking it up. Let's go. Four to three, and we have a chance to end up uh, picking up a challenge here. A run or a walk I think would be easiest, but honestly, I want to retire the side in order. I think we can do it. It's the three, four, five hitter, and I know they're a little tough, but honestly, we need to prove that uh, we can get out of this inning and, uh, and get through their best hitters. So let's do that. And plus, it's damn good rewards too, you know? But okay, we put you to a 1-1 one, one count here. It's not what we want to see, but let's just... Uh, yeah, let's just throw some good pitches. That's what I'm talking about. Ground out to the second baseman. And let's go. That's one batter up, one batter down. This guy punched us last time, but... Not this time. We're going to do much better in this at bat here. As we go first pitch strike, let's go. We're going to get the splitter down and away a little bit. We catch the corner. That's what I'm talking about. And now let's finish him with an up and in fastball. Not only are we going to retire him in order here, but we're going to actually strike him out too. Never mind, he didn't chase. That's all right, because now we're going to get the slurve, and we're going to strike him out right here. Goodbye. Well, never mind. It's a ground ball. Get there. I thought we were going to be able to field it, but that's okay. He knocks the ball down. He ends up getting him out at first. And now we are one batter away from finishing our goal and getting out of this inning. And keeping it a one-run ball game as well. There we go. Now we're starting to get some of those calls. I appreciate that. 
as we go down in the zone again. Oh no! We should have got punished for that one, in all honesty. That was that was way too good of a pitch. So let's make sure we throw this one out of the zone this time. You know what? That's a good eye on that one. We'll give him that. So let's go for the split now. Swing through it. Nope. But thankfully our third baseman makes the play this time. And makes a good throw. And we retire the side in order. We get three program stars. Don't know what that necessarily does. And our clutch goes up as well. And thankfully, it is still a one-run game. Hopefully, we can uh, actually get out of this, though. Well, we're not going to take the lead, unfortunately. We need to keep this a one-run game. Just so we have a chance to still be in line for the win. Don't pick up the strike on that one. That's okay. Oh, no. Wow. We hang the circle change, but... Thankfully, he ends up following it off. Now let's go. Strike down and out. Swings through it. Yeah, he's not doing well with the fastball. But let's hit him with the circle change. At the very least, he follows it off. And we can set up for an up and out, or an up and in fastball. Or we can just get him to ground out to this uh, shortstop. And that was a close play, but thankfully he ends up getting him. After a really horrid first inning, we're starting to pick it right back up here. Looking really good. We get the strike on the corner. Uh, again, now that we're starting to get the uh, the bottom of the zone, I'm feeling much more confident. There we go. Gosh, you know what? He's going to be expecting a uh, an off speed. So let's get him up and in with the fastball here. Yeah, and unfortunately, when you miss, throw it again. Uh oh, he's going three. Get him. He gets him. Let's go. What a play by our by our relay team to end up getting him at third. And what should have been a strikeout turned to a double ends up being a double thrown out at third. So let's go. Good stuff right there. Let's go. Now all we have to do is get out of the inning. And thankfully, that would have actually scored him. But thankfully, because he's not on base. Wow, but he gets a double out of that? But thankfully, no one was on base, so he didn't end up getting an RBI. But holy sh**, how did he get a double out of that? Nine hitter here. We've gotten him out already today. All right, settle down, buddy. Guys, I've been trusting the circle change. So let's get him. Boom, baby! Sit your ass down. He goes back to the dugout. And thankfully, we get out of that jam right there. And we keep the score 4-3. to three. After giving up two hits, surprisingly, two extra base hits at that. But there we go. Let's see if our offense can contribute again. And let's see if we can go into the fifth with a lead. Let's go. Let's get a first pitch strike here. Uh, how about a first pitch out? That's even better in my book. So let's go one out already. And we're sitting at 68 pitches. So not bad, but not great. That first inning was an absolute travesty. But man, we're becoming more efficient in this inning. Is that is two pitches, two outs. Looking real good. And we're getting through the top of their order pretty quickly. Let's see if we can get... Uh... No, we're not going to get that one right there, unfortunately. That's all right. We're... It's going to take more than three pitches to get out of this inning, but that's going to be all right. Unfortunately, <laughs> that pushes it to 2-0, though. All right, fastball down. We take that. And let's work our way back here. One pitch at a time, baby. One pitch at a time. Oh, and that one goes foul. You know what? We haven't thrown the slurve much. Let's get out of it here with the slurve. Looking good. Ah, but that's all right. Grounds out to the shortstop. We pick it up. I was hoping for the strikeout, but we will definitely take any out that we can get. Thankfully, we get out of that fifth inning unscathed yet again. No, they took us out. They took us out. Please tell me we have the lead. That's fine. As long as we have the lead there. No. We end up picking up the loss. They end up scoring an additional six after they take us out. And unfortunately, we do end up picking up the loss because of those four runs. We weren't able to score any more. Well, except for one after we ended up coming out. So unfortunately, the last couple innings were a little rough. But uh, we do only get charged with one earned run in that game. And that's mainly because of that error at second base that should have taken us... 
out of that first inning, but unfortunately elongated it, which allowed them to get that three run shot, which put us down four to nothing. But again, uh, not a great outing, but definitely could have been a lot worse. Again, six hits, two strikeouts. At least we had no walks, so our command was pretty decent. But again, the one earned run with the four runs total is a little rough, but at least our ERA doesn't get uh, too much of a blemish. Unfortunately, we are sitting at a two and three record. A 1.91 ERA, which isn't too bad, 22 strikeouts. A 1.02 whip is is a little bad too, but um, hey, hopefully we can actually come back next game and uh, and make a difference. But again, that losing record is not great. That's not going to allow us to really progress much. But uh, again, hopefully next time that we pitch, which is presumably going to be against Portland, it could be against Hartford again, but presumably against Portland, then um, hopefully we can have a bounce back game and do some good stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like. If you're new, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.